Uh, when the salt cell goes bad, it's usually always going to read low salt. So if it's reading low salt and you know prior to that that your salt levels were fine, I would bring in a water sample to the nearest store and figure out what, you know, what your salt level is actually at. Um, we have a lot of customers that see it reading low salt, so they'll dump salt in. And then it still says low salt, so they'll dump more in, and pretty soon you have a whole bag of salt in there, which is gonna be way too much, and you're gonna end up draining and refilling the tub. So this one's gonna be you know, fairly easy depending, and I'll show you a couple different scenarios on how they can be changed. You may have to pull the front panel off the tub, but then it's gonna be two wires, and you really can't mess up you know, where those go, they just kind of plug right in. So you follow the wire down in and do it. So to change this out, we're gonna shut the breaker off first. We never want power going to this and we never wanna take the salt cell out of the water while there is power to the tub, because that can burn it out prematurely. So now that we've shut the breakers off, we can kind of start, you know, this will be the salt cell. Follow the wire where it goes through and you can usually just grab it with your hand and twist we're gonna take out the big plastic kind of nut right here. And then just slowly, you know, as long as there's no tension, if, if this stops and, and it, you know, is kind of binding on something, that's when we have to take off the front panel and see what it might be caught on. But if you get lucky and you just kind of keep slowly pulling on it, um, you just kind of keep working it out until we get to this connection. And then basically we're just gonna Undo this connection, you know, grab your new salt cell, grab your wires and we'll just kind of plug it right back in and then just slowly just kind of feed it back in. Once you get there, that's just going to kind of screw right back in. We want to make sure there's an O-ring on here. Make sure this is seated in the little slot. Snug that up put this back down in through the filter, then we can go ahead and power the tub back on. The, the easiest way to always do it, as I said, the first time when I go out, is I'm gonna always just try doing it this way. I'll unscrew it there, and you know that's gonna be the easiest. If I can pull it out that way and I don't have to mess with taking the front panel off or anything like that, um, th there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. Depending what tub you have, where this goes through the shell, the water level may be over top of that, if it is, what we'd recommend is shut the power off and you'll have to drain a little bit of water out until you get below where this white nut is in here. And then you can kind of do that same process. And then, you know, once you're done, you'll have to fill it back up that couple inches. Hope this video helped you. If you need more info, check out our website and links to other helpful tips will be in the description. Thanks for watching.